This hack tip is brought to you by Jack Threads. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and today we're continuing the fundamental series with more than you ever needed to know about MAC addresses. Now, this was actually inspired by Do Re Mi's comment on YouTube last week about the packet sniffing, and he wrote, Hey, Darren, you forgot to do a MAC change. That's not safe. Well, thanks for the comment. We read them all, and that is what's bringing us this week to the terms. Now, every computer on a network needs an interface with a unique identifier, else how would Alice know the difference between Bob and Charlie? That'd be awkward. Cocktail party. Anyway, so for that, we've got media access control addresses, otherwise known as MAC addresses, sometimes physical addresses or hardware addresses, and they're the identifiers unique to every NIC on the planet. MAC addresses come in several schemes, three mainly, uh, MAC 48, EUI 48, and EUI 64. Now, EUI is just uh, short for Extended Unique Identifier and covers, well, other devices and software, so not just necessarily network hardware, for example, uh, Firewire. The 48-bit identifiers have an address space containing about 281 trillion possible addresses and aren't expected to run out until year 2100, while EUI 64 addresses should be with us until we colonize Eden Prime, or RISA, or New Caprica? Your pick. Now, I mentioned NICs, so what are those? Network Interface Controllers, also known as a network or LAN adapter, or simply a network interface card, since they're typically an add-on card that plugs right into the motherboard. And, well, how did NICs get Macs? IEEE, -E -E, or IEEE, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. They're kind of a pretty hip group of geeks dedicated to advancing technology and innovations and stuff. And since the 1960s, this nonprofit professional association's been making standards for stuff that we love, like Ethernet, which goes by IEEE 802.3, or Wi Fi, which I know you've seen as IEEE 802.11. Well, with these things, the cool cats, they just dole out these nifty things called OUIs, or organizationally unique identifiers to companies who manufacture networking products. Uh, the OUI is actually the first three octets of a MAC address, and as the name implies, it's unique to every, uh, or every manufacturer. So, for example, the Linksys group has an OUI of 00045A in hex, uh, among every, a bunch of others, I mean, they're a big manufacturer. Netgear, on the other hand, they've got an OUI of 00095B. Um, let's go on a tangent for a second. Here's a fun little piece of trivia. The MAC addresses are actually born out of the uh, Xerox Ethernet addressing scheme, which is why the OUI for the Xerox Corporation starts with 00000000 through 09. All right, anyway, back on track. Now, this is pretty cool because MAC addresses are burned into the NIC meaning it's stored in the card's hardware. Well, I mean, sometimes it's read-only memory or sometimes it's the rewritable firmware, but suffice it to say, if you run across a MAC address that starts with Netgear's OUI, the device was probably manufactured by Netgear. Or was it? Well, in just a bit, we're gonna fire up our favorite Linux security distro and get to modifying your MAC address for good or for evil, take your pick. But first, let's thank our excellent sponsor. Now, we all know that most guys hate shopping for clothes. Luckily, there's Jack Threads. Jack Threads is a members-only online shopping club that does the dirty work for you and saves you a boatload of cash. Every day, Jack Threads serves up the hottest brands, up to 80% off what you'd pay in a store. Now, Jack Threads is a private club, but luckily, Hack5 has the hookup. Oh, and did we mention it's free to join? Yeah, hit up jackthreads.com slash hak5 and you'll instantly be saving without having to leave the house. All right, let's get to the practical stuff here. I'm going to begin in Backtrack Linux by issuing the if config command, which is going to tell me everything I ever wanted to know about my network interfaces here. And using what we learned the other week, I'm going to pipe the output of it into the input of grep, which is only going to show me what I want to know, which in this case is anything on the same line as HWADDR. I can see here that I have two uh, interfaces here. I've got F0 as well as WLAN0, F0 being my Ethernet adapter, WLAN0 being my wireless adapter. Now WLAN0's hardware address starts with uh, the first three octets are 00, C0, CA, which if I go ahead and look up, I can find out that that is the OUI 
of Alpha Incorporated. Now, I can actually change my MAC address and there's probably a few ways or a few reasons why I might want to. For example, if I were a network administrator, I might want to set up what's known as locally administrated addresses rather than the universally administrated addresses that come out of the box, you know, from the factory. Say if I were I don't know, running a large organization and I wanted to make some restrictions based on MAC addresses. Whereas on the other side of the coin, if I wanted to bypass those restrictions imposed by administrators or maybe even conceal my next true identity when performing attacks um, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff that we are so getting into. But I'll give you a real world example. Uh, I was at the uh, San Francisco airport and they have complimentary Wi-Fi there for up to 40 minutes. And then after 40 minutes, the system kicks you off. But if you change your MAC address, it welcomes you right back on for another 40 minutes. I know this because my flight was delayed and the 3G sucks. Anyway, so back in Linux, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change my address. And really to do this, I only have to perform three commands. First of all, it's ifconfig, wlan0, which is my interface, and then down. So I bring the interface down, network card's now off, if config, and then the interface again, wlan0. And this time I wanna say hw ether, and then an address. So it can come up with any six octets as long as it's hex and it will become that. Uh, I'm gonna go with D E A D B E E F C zero F E. There we go. Yeah, that looks like fun. And now I can type if config WLAN zero up. Alright, and running if config on WLAN zero now reports the hardware address of dead beef coffee. Because you know, that's fun. Now there is a lot more to this that we're going to be covering on future hack tips such as multicast versus unicast and basically a whole lot more in these fundamental series. But first, I want to hear your feedback. What programs or commands are rocking your world? What technologies are tickling your technolust? Hit me up, tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust.